looks like it's time to rock the dragon. Is the ace of Vegas, the ace of Vegas. And welcome back, my spinners and sharks, to Ace of Vegas. Ace here, and today we're going to go ahead and see about risking 120 million chips. We're going to go ahead and bet 1.2 million chips 100 times to go ahead and see how strong a game that Dragon's Wealth is. So let's go ahead and put 100 spins on the clock, on your mark, get set, ready, and go. Okay, so Dragon's Wealth is in a game I've played very often, honestly. I've uh, I've seen it pop up every once in a while in the My Vegas app and never really paid it much mind. There are a lot of dragon games in this app, uh, especially Asian-themed dragon games, too. We have the Dra Grand Dragon game. There's also the Dragon's Law game. That's a little bit of an import from the My Konami. So dragons are pretty common around here. They even have a dragon version of Excalibur 2. Uh, that's obviously more of a Western-style dragon, but... Still, dragons are dragons, unless they're dinosaurs, because there's a magnificent book called Dragon Teeth that uh, talks about that. It's a Michael Crichton novel, who happens to be one of my favorite authors of all time, but that's not that's neither here nor there. Although I think a fair chunk of it takes place uh, briefly in Vegas, if I remember correctly. So that's kind of a kind of an interesting one. I know a lot of it takes place in Colorado and Wyoming and all that too. So they take a take a trip through there. It's actually pretty interesting. So download it when you can, especially if you. Uh, if you have Audible or something like that, it's a cool little book to look into. Uh, but enough about that, and enough about my reading habits and about the game habits over here. Oh, that was a good one. Nine million chips just to kind of get us back on track over here. Let's go ahead and talk some Vegas news. So, first thing I wanted to talk about is that the Hard Rock Hotel is going bye-bye. In case you guys didn't know, there is no such thing as the Hard Rock Hotel and Casino now. Um, within the next six months, it's actually going to shut its doors, at least temporarily. Uh, I think, uh, well, here's the whole story. So, as you guys know, Virgin, um, owned by our best friend Richard Branson, and by his beard, he's decided to go ahead and rebrand the whole thing, the Virgin Hotel, so I'm sure it's going to be some Virgin Mega Hotel and Casino from now on, and uh, I'm not sure what they're going to do about that pool. I really hope they find a way to sanitize that thing, because, oh my god, I'm not sure if you guys have ever been to the Hard Rock Pool, but if you ever have, make sure that you're checked for literally anything that your doctor can check for, because it is not a uh, not a clean place there, let me tell you. Anyway, and yeah, because people are like, oh, you know, there's, there's always rumors of people having, uh, you know, watching TV in that pool, if you know what I mean. And I can tell you that that's substantiated <laughs> very, very well. Uh, so what's, what's going to happen, though, is uh, Richard Branson and his friends at Virgin are going to go ahead and close down Hard Rock for, I think they're shooting for about eight months, and they're going to go ahead and remodel the whole place. Uh, no word as to whether they're keeping the current casino staff and all that. Um, but they are definitely mixing it up. Um, also, I'm not entirely sure if they're going to get rid of the Hard Rock uh, Cafe restaurant there. They may actually maintain that. I'm not sure how the contracts work. I do hope that they maintain Wait, that was like three bonuses in a row. Why didn't I get a bonus for that? I don't see how this game works. All right. Now, this should be a bonus. Nope, that was not a bonus. Shame on that. Oh, well. But anyway, what I'm really getting at is that they are going to go ahead and shut it down like a circus clown. So if you're going to be in the Vegas area anytime soon, make sure you get like a $5 chip or something like that. Something to commemorate the last bit of this uh, not so historic, but pretty prominent hotel casino there. Slightly off strip. It's a, it's a good time. I, I've, it's definitely a party hotel. So if you're not really a party person... Uh, you probably haven't been there or definitely haven't gone there, but if you're really big on music and enjoy, uh, you know, enjoy your entertainment and enjoy parties, especially as a young person, it was probably somewhere that you'd been and probably somewhere you had a good time at at one point or another. So be prepared for the Virgin Hotel to go ahead and crop up in the next couple of months here, so it'll be sometime next year. And it looks like we finally got ourselves our bonus. All right, here we go. So we got a few chips for it. Let's see what happens here. So we can do, oh, what dragon do we pick? So we got the red one over here, the gold one that looks like he's up to something here. There's the green one that looks like Shenron. Or we can pick this mystery dragon over here. There's a blue one. I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking 10 free spins. Oh, well, no, we can get like up to 30 times on a bonus here. Let's see what the, you know what, let's see what the mystery dragon does. I'm the worst, so I'm going to pick the mystery dragon. Three free spins for the multiplier. Oh, man. Shouldn't have got greedy. 
Alright, there's a 10 times multiplier on that one. Let's see about another big one. Here we go, here we go. Let's get another big spin. Let's go. Oh, that wild didn't do much for us. Oh, that wild didn't do much for us. That was lousy. 6 million on the free spins. Pity that. Hopefully we'll get another bonus. Maybe I'll choose something that's a little more reasonable next time. Okay. So, in the meantime, um, now that we're talking about that, so just be on standby for that big change. But if you're you know, in Vegas in the next six months, we're going to go ahead and make sure we can see about uh, chronicling the end of the uh, Hard Rock. I really want to do that, especially uh, during Christmas time there. Uh, just to see what it's like, and that'll be the very end of its lifespan, because next uh, February, I think, is when it's going to go ahead and shut down like a circus clown. And no, I'm not talking about Circus Circus. Although, wouldn't that be great if Richard Ban Branson just kind of shut down Circus Circus and did something with that? Maybe maybe one of these days. Maybe MGM will get rid of that one. I think there's some rumors that uh, MGM's selling Bellagio, too, to kind of recoup some of their losses with all the purchases that they've made. But I think they really want to make a, a big, as big a monopoly as they can, especially in as many markets as they can. So they're definitely going to be holding on to that. We might talk about that in the podcast on Sunday, too. So don't forget to go ahead and drop on by for the podcast, and we will uh, see you guys that time, too. All right, so we're just about wrapping with these spins over here. Another interesting thing that I uh, read about is that the Golden Knights are trying to open their own restaurant. So they're trying to get together with uh, Wolfgang Puck. I'm not sure if you guys saw our video where we actually went to his restaurant in the MGM Grand. I enjoyed it. It had some nice flat iron steak over there. Wolfgang knows how to cook. A little overpriced for what it was, but you know, my Vegas rewards kind of made up for that and made it a pretty cheap, uh, pretty cheap dinner time. So I didn't mind it at all. So, something to keep in mind there. We're on our last few spins here. I think we've only got uh, three more to go. And then that'll be it. So, hopefully, we're going to get ourselves a big bonus here and make up for all the chips that we lost. We didn't lose too many. We actually made a few loyalty points. So, here comes our last spin here. Oh, man. That wild should have been a bonus. So, apparently, if you don't get three of them in a row. So, it has to be bonus, bonus, bonus for the dragons to show up. But at least we got the dragons to show up and it looks like it was pretty cool, too. All right, so we're ending at 544,392,129 chips here. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and take a quick break. I'm going to do some maths, and we'll uh, count up the booty. So, folks, it looks like our wish could not be granted by the Eternal Dragon. Uh, we actually came back with a payback percentage of 62.08%. Not the worst game that we've played, but definitely a suboptimal game, and certainly an illegal game if it was a real game. But, you know, again, we're only doing 100 spins, so this is not exactly the optimal game here. So now that we got Dragon's Wealth out of the way, I think we actually put up a poll last week to to go ahead and see which game we were going to play next. Uh, I'll go ahead and do the loser of that one, then we'll move on to another game here. So, until next time, my spinners and sharks, Ace of Vegas is signing out. Strong hands, happy spinning, and we will see you this Sunday on the podcast.